my dance, make it hurt. Welcome. Today we'll be talking about how to deploy yellow v5 model. So in the previous video we have seen how to create a yellow v5 model on custom dataset. In this video we'll be talking about how to deploy that model. So download everything from this repo. I'll be giving the link in the description. After downloading you'll be getting all the necessary files that are required for deployment. So here to do the deployment we have to create an environment and we have to install PyTorch. So here you can see this is this is my file. Uh, you can see this is the folder, and inside that I have all the files. So open your Anaconda command prompt. You can see here, and type cd. Copy the link here. You can see, and paste it here. So when you do that, you are inside this location. After that, after doing that, you know, uh, type this command in the command prompt. It will create an environment that is Python GPU. Then after that activate that environment using this command then do the nvidia smi so guys here you can see i have all the nvidia driver installed and i have cuda version that is 11.6 here so to install pytorch click on this link you will be going to this page you can see so this is the pytorch page and here select stable then windows you can go for linux or mac then here package is pip i want to do the installation by using pip then language is python and cuda is 11.3 so i have you can see like you know just a second yeah so i have 11.6 so cuda was an 11 that's why i have selected 11.3 then copy this command the whole command you know copy this thing and paste in the command prompt so guys i'm not doing anything here because i have already done that and i have my python environment ready if I type conda env list, you can see I have my Python GPU environment ready. So after this, now we have an environment which is you know which has Python and all the requirements that we need for this deployment. So after that, after that you know do conda activate then Python GPU. So now we are in the directory of this of this folder we have activated our environment now let's check the deployment code so this is the deployment code you can see here and here we are we are importing touch cv2 time now this function you can see so this function it is receiving frame and model then it is doing the detection here you can see and then it is returning levels and coordinates these coordinates are you know bounding box coordinates so after this this function we have here plot boxes so it is receiving uh, results frame and classes then here it is going through all the detections it is looping through all the detections here and then it is plotting all the information on the frame and after that it is returning the frame and then we have our main function so here everything is connected and everything is happening Let's understand the whole code from this line. So you can see here, this is the main function we are calling here, and we are giving image path. So this is the path of an image I have here. So this is the image. So when we are calling the main function by giving the uh, image as input, you can see here, you know, this function will get executed. So here, here we are giving the image path as input. Then here we are loading the model so i am giving the directory to the yellow v5 uh, repository so here this is the yellow v5 repository i have if you want to download that you can download either from here so that repository and all the codes are inside this file you can download the repository from this link also so this is the official uh, yellow v5 repository so after that after that yeah after that here custom because uh, we are we are uh, working with a custom yellow v5 then source is local because we have downloaded the file and we have uh, we have the file on our system then after that this is the last 
uh, weight file so this is the last weight file we have received from this video so if you want to create your own weight file you can follow this video and you can create your own yellow v5 weight file so after that after that after loading the model here we are we are getting the class names in string format and then here we are working with the image you can see we are reading the image here we are converting that from uh, bgr to rgb then we are, we are doing the detection here by calling the detect x function so in this line it will call this function you can see you know we are giving frame and model where here here it is doing the detection and it is giving labels and coordinates so after receiving the information of the labels and coordinates from the detect x function we are converting the frame from rgb to vga then we are passing the results you can see here the frame and the classes to plot boxes function so this function this will be getting executed here here you can see we are extracting levels and coordinates here we are getting an idea of you know how many detections we have on this image then here we are just you know x shape or y shape you know with and height of uh, of the image and after that here we are looping through all the detections uh, that we have on this image and and plotting all the bounding boxes and class name with score on the image you can see we have we have uh, using a threshold value of 0.55 so basically we are considering all the detections with a score uh, that is greater than or equal to 0.55 so now let's run the code and you'll be getting a good idea so here you know open the command prompt and type pytos so here we have already activated our pytos gpu environment you can see if you want to activate you can use the code conda activate pytos gpu then type pytos deploy.py so it is okay it is loading the model so we are doing the detection on this image so this is our original image you can see this is the detection we are we are getting so basically if you compare the uh, final file with code you can see so plot image yeah so this rectangle is the bounding box and this rectangle is this small rectangle you can see and this one is the uh, level with score so this is the output uh, we are getting on the image you can see now if you want to do detection on video for that we can we can use this one you know so here we are giving the video as input and this is the output file name for that video so when we are calling now now save it okay so when we are calling the main function now this won't get executed when we are using a video you know this code will be executed so here it is capturing the video you can see now here we are creating a video writer so video writer is generally being used to save the video here we are getting the width height and fps information from the video and we are, we are creating our video writer according to that so after that here we are looping through all the uh, looping through the video frame by frame you can see and then here we are reading the frame here then we are doing the same thing we have done in case of image we are converting from pgr to rgb we are doing the detection by calling detect function here then we are converting back from uh, rgb to bgr then we are plotting all the information by using plot uh, boxes function here so after that here this code is just to show the frame and then here we are saving our output result so if you want to see this one save the file and run python deploy again when you do that it is loading you can see here now okay you can see we are getting our detections so basically if you compare with the code you know this i am so so name window feed output so this is the feed output window we have created here and then we are showing uh, we are showing the result in this window so you can see we are getting our detections so now if you want to do detection uh, by using webcam you can you can put a uh, feed path equal to 0 or 1 or 2 according to your id uh, 
uh, that will be assigned to your webcam or the USB camera or any external camera that you have connected with your system so guys I'm not going to do the webcam detection I want you to try and please let me know if it works or not in the comment so guys we have seen how to create our YOLO VFI model then how to deploy that model on images on uh, videos on webcam so I hope this was helpful please like this video you can share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video till then take care